Hi, um, I'm glad to be here today. I'm excited to be here today. I'm glad the weather was good enough to let me drive over the roads that were clear and not slick and icy. I'm glad for the sunshine and thankful for that. And I'm thankful to be in some place. And I guess if you look around a little bit, I'm in a beautiful old building and I'm thankful they let us in. Has, has anybody ever thanked you for something and been grateful to you for helping them with something? Did it make you feel good? Have you ever said thank you to somebody for something they did? You know, we found out that people that are thankful for things, little things usually, are happier people. We'll grow up to be happier people. So um, today I think I'm gonna read you a book. It's about being thankful for something. I remember when I was maybe your age, sometimes I'd have to wait till Christmas or my birthday, those big special days to be thankful. But you know, there's only a couple of those a year and maybe it's more important to be thankful for all those little things in between that add up to lots of big thanks. I'd like to start out and read you a book. I uh, love the picture here and the picture is even important about the story and it's called Here and Now. I always love the inside of a book because they always repeat the outside, don't they, here and now. Right here, right now, you are reading this book, or I am reading this book and you're listening to it, right now. The book is in your lap or in your hands or in someone else's. I love that, look how happy she seems to be and she's reading a book with her in the same book she's reading. You are sitting or you are standing or you are wrapped up in a bed, look at that. A couple of books there, favorite stuffed animal. This is what my bed's like at night. There's always at my cat, porch cat's called, and always a dog down at the foot of the bed sleeping. And I'm always reading a book that I do every night before I turn the lights out. And I'm really thankful for that. And that's always right here and right now. Under your bum or under your feet is a seat, a floor, or a cloud. If you're on an airplane, there's a cloud underneath the airplane, isn't there? And under all of us, all of those things is the earth, the grass and the dirt. I know, look at that. Wouldn't it be neat if you could actually, your eyes could see what's under the dirt under there? And the earth is spinning in the middle of space and we don't know why, but it is. Do you know right now, as you're sitting here listening to this, that the world we're sitting on is spinning around? And do you know how fast it's spinning around? Have you ever been anywhere on a jet airplane? Did you know the world is spinning faster than a jet airplane goes? And yet, I don't feel dizzy to you. I don't even feel a spinning. That's maybe something you can look up sometime. And you are too. You are spinning around that fast. We just don't feel it and don't see it, do we? But we are. Right here, right now, while you're reading this book, many, many things are happening. Right now, as I'm reading this book to you and you're listening, rain is forming in the belly of a cloud. An ant has finished its home on the other side of the planet. Things are happening all over, aren't they? Somewhere out there is a telephone ringing. Right now, an idea is blooming. I wonder what they're thinking of. They're thinking, they have an idea about something, don't they? Grass is pushing up through cement. And you know, right now it's getting warm out again and the grass is gonna start growing and pushing up between the cracks on the sidewalk, isn't it? A friend you haven't met yet is sitting down to dinner. Isn't that kind of exciting to know that out there all over the place, there are people that you haven't met yet that are gonna be the best friends of your life. There are animals, wild and tame, living and breathing all around you. Right here, right now, muscles are growing. I bet yours are growing. Cities are growing. Cut, cuts and broken bones are sewing up and healing. Unseen work is being done. Right here, right now, you are becoming. Have you ever had a chance to look at your reflection in a pool of water? And if you put your finger in the water, the little ripples, it makes your reflection all kind of curvy and wavy. Isn't it wonderful to be right here and right now and to be thankful that you are right here and right now and that all those things that are so good happening to you and that will happen to you, you can be thankful for. Life is sort of like, when I go back to this, life is sort of like looking at your face in a little pool of water with the ripples it doesn't look as clear as a mirror does it but life is sort of like that it isn't always clear and easy is it i wonder if you're happy for all the little things we've seen in this book all things right here and right now and we'll get a chance to talk about that someday because i'll be with you right here and right now someday thank you